Praise the living Jesus Christ. My name is Witness Ken Paul Obieke. This is Heaven's Mandate's Revival Before Rapture, bringing the church back to track and uh, getting those who will board the flight of rapture ready. I started a series on errors of the end time and uh, we are continuing in it uh, from the angle of testing the spirits because a lot of things are going wrong and uh, one of the greatest errors of most Christians today is that do, they do not test all spirits they test all spirits and uh, this is very dangerous with the type of pollution and corruption the type of contamination the type of Inversion from the kingdom of darkness, anybody that is not testing all spirits now or proving all things now is not going to make heaven, is not going to make it. Uh, I want you to quickly follow me to the book of Revelation, chapter number 2. Revelation, chapter number 2, and I'm reading from verse 18. It says, And unto the angel of the church in Tereterra, right? These things saith the uh, Son of God, who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. Indeed, the eyes of Jesus Christ is like a flame of fire. Because a lot of things are happening. A lot of, the devil has taken over the church. A lot of things, antichrist spirits, unclean spirits, marine spirits, have taken over everywhere. Now, the word of the Lord said, I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Now watch this, verse 20. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman, Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants, to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Now, I want you to see what the Lord has against the church. I want you to see what the Lord has against many of us. And, uh, and then so that we can be able to, to get back to our senses a lot. This acceptance of everything and accepting of every spirit uh, is, 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 is offhand now. And the Lord made it clear to me that the, the, the devil uh, uh, has ambushed even those of us who sincerely want to make heaven, many have been ambushed in this way. The devil sees that you have escaped and then he has gone to this side to ambush those people who sincerely want to make heaven but are walking in ignorance. Now, verse 20 said, Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest, thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Why did they allow a Jezebel or the spirit of Jezebel, which is the spirit of marine witchcraft, to be teaching and deceiving people? Why? Why is the church in this form? Why are even ministers you least expect Allowing the spirit of Jezebel, which is the head of marine witchcraft, to, to, to be deceiving, to seduce here means to deceive and to teach. What is it teaching? Now, when you are teaching somebody in, in seduction, that means you can, you can say things that look as if they are good, but you know, your aim is to deceive. Now, with the way things are going, when the spirit of Jezebel, which is marine witchcraft of the first order, is now teaching the church, 
through CDs, through books. And the church is not designing to know that this spirit is not real. Can that church be raptured? Can that Christian be raptured? Can that person escape the original plan of this very spirit that is not of God but has entered the church and is moving along with the so-called believers who are not designing? And now he said, uh, you know, uh, 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 notwithstanding I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest uh, that woman Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Now listen very carefully. Any message you absorb is like eating food. You eat it as spiritual food. Now, if you are watching CDs or reading a book, or listening to a message from any form, or sitting under a, a, any ministration, your spirit is being fed. And so what is happening, you are committing fornication with the spirit of marine witchcraft. And the, the Bible tells us that you do not join your body to a harlot. Now, if you are watching these things, listening to these things, what happens? You have become one. You have become one with this spirit. And that is why on that day when the trumpet sound, you will never make it. The strategies of the devil are so many, are so much, that if you do not, that's why Jesus Christ says, be wise as serpent. In fact, you need to be wiser than the devil. And how can you do that? The way you can be wiser than the devil is a reliance on the Holy Spirit. It is by you taking this message very, very serious to design the spirits, to test the spirits, to make sure you try the spirits, to know that they are of God, irrespective of what they are saying. Praise God. I want to bring you these heavenly materials. The Lord wants to use them to bless you and to help you at this end time. This one is called Strive to Enter. It's a book you will not afford to miss. The revelations there that will enable you to make heaven. This one is called Behold I Come Quickly. The, the, it's, it's, everyone that has read this book has a lot to say. And the one thing about my books, they are, they are not just letters, divine revelations. He said, behold, I come quickly. Now, this one is, time is finished. I saw the angels that are meant to blow the trumpet of rapture with trumpets written, time is finished. And the Lord shaked the head and told me, the time is finished. Go now and do something. This book will save you a lot. This one is you and your pastor must hear this. It is a book that those who have read got born again and again, even including pastors that really want to make heaven. You and your pastor must hear this. This book is my latest, one of my latest books, just out. The highest height of the seat. In this highest height of the seat, you will see how the devil and his cohorts have taken over everywhere in the city. Even preaching holiness and righteousness. Even doing what? Bringing so-called divine revelations and so-called undesigning Christians. Christians who are too lazy to test the spirits are buying their CDs and initiating themselves to hellfire. They do not know that when you watch these CDs, when you look at these things, listen to them, that they grab your soul. Corruption and pollution of another level is what the devil is using now to have his soul for hellfire. I read this verse again. He said, Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. Now, the Lord is saying what he has against you that will not make you to make heaven. And those of you who 
uh, sell, distribute, share. All these things you have not proven. All these things you have not tested the spirits that are behind them. Oh my God. Forget heaven. Hellfire is waiting for you. If you have ever distributed or sold these things to anybody without testing the spirit and proving the spirits that are behind them. My dear, you have condemned souls to hellfire and you need to go back. Withdraw those things. The ones that are with you, burn them to ashes. Destroy them. I'm a watchman of God and a living witness of Jesus Christ. And whatever I'm telling you, go and test. Go and prove it. This spirit of Jezebel is controlling even churches and pastors today. Is controlling pastors. Is controlling some ministers you least expect. Jesus Christ said, Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou saw that woman, Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess. Which called herself a prophetess. To teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication. And to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Why do you want to eat? Why do you want to bring yourself under corrupted anointing and messages? No matter how they sound. Why will you be foolish to allow the devil to manipulate you and bring you in a place whereby at the end of all this very striving to make heaven, you will see that you will not be there. You, you, nobody will say you are not seeing the kind of messages or the CDs and, or so-called divine revelations that are flying everywhere. And more are coming. More are coming everywhere. Look at the type of churches that are springing up. Nobody is pointing people to heaven. Even those who are preaching holiness and righteousness, they are doing it to deceive people. So, if you are not ready to design the spirit, to test the spirit, or to try the spirit, how will you be able to identify the spirit that the Lord is revealing here, which is not of him? Now, verse 21 says, And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. What is this fornication? This fornication is not just the normal fornication you know about. It's beyond that. You that interact with this kind of spirits, with all the nonsense and rubbish that is written everywhere, you are finished. You need to go for cleansing. And so he went on and said, Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that, committed, that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. What is the Lord saying? You that patronize them. You that allow them to merchandise you. You that is accepting what they are saying. You that is, is, is buying their CDs and all their rubbish materials. The Lord is saying you are committing adultery with her. You are committing adultery with that spirit. Can you imagine that? And this adultery is worse than the adultery that you know. How can you finish committing adultery with this marine force and then think you make heaven? A young pastor came to me and told me how he was initiated by a group of pastors that said they want him to make it. They go under the sea to suck the breast of mami water, marine spirit, the queen of the coast, and sleep with her, have sex with her. He told me how he used seven-day-old seven babies, seven-day-old babies, to join this group so that he will make it. Can you imagine what is happening in the church? When he was almost running mental, he now started looking for Jesus Christ. He had branches. Everything was going on well. All of a sudden, everything began to close down because they needed more blood for him and he was tired. Can you imagine a minister that goes to look at the church which is the only hope of the world? Christianity is the only hope of mankind. And the devil wants to now come and pollute it by all means. Using every means, every manner to do it. And a, a, a driver told me what happened one day. He was a driver of a pastor. And this pastor with other group of pastors, they go to meeting at a particular place they call mountain. 
And so that day, they drew, he said, he, he, he was noticing that when they were getting, they were getting close to this place, the, 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 his ogre, the pastor, would say, come down, wait for me here. And then the man would drive by himself. And then he would wait there until the man comes out. And he said one day, something made him to, to say, let me monitor these people and see what they're doing. And then, after the man has gone, he went down with them. By the, the so-called mountain, there was a river. So he noticed that when each of them drove up to that place, he would drive into the river. And once they drive into the river, he would disappear. After, they would not come, up, come out. What do they go there to do? And these are people laying hands on you. These are people praying for you over the, telephone, over the, over the uh, television. These are the people you sit under the anointings. You have not tested their spirits. The Lord is asking you to prove all things. The Lord is asking you to be careful lest any man deceive you. The Lord has made it clear that the false prophets will use even miracles to deceive the elects. Now, this world is stop just going to church. Christianity is not churchianity. Most of us are made churchgoers that are not Christians. This book is going to bless you mightily. This one is the judgment day. The Lord showed me the judgment cue and how the great, the small, we are judged. You need to know about this so that you can stand on that day. This one is called Tears in Heaven. The book of life was shown to me empty and Jesus Christ began to shed tears of blood and covered the book of life. It's a book when you read, if you are still of the Lord, your heart will be broken with what is happening. Now, this one is called satanic churches. Most of the churches you have today are satanic because the counterfeit Jesus is what they are worshipping, even in ignorance. Satanic churches is a book that is a spiritual time bomb. When you read it, you understand what I'm saying. Why are you still very careless? Is your soul no more precious to you? When you hear the cry of damned souls in hellfire, if you go to hellfire and see what is happening to those in hellfire, as I have been there more than 50 times in divine revelations, as the Lord gave me grace to see, so that I can carry on this ministry to make sure that hell is depopulated and heaven is populated. If you see it, you will never, never be careless about yourself anymore. Now, look at the word of God. The word of the Lord said here, God said, Behold, I will cast her into a bed, verse 22, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. Ignorance is not an excuse. A sister told me about a CD she bought recently, and she was playing the CD and then slept off. In the night, while she was still sleeping, she was now hearing the CD in the dream. Shouting, I need blood, I need blood, I need blood. And she had to jump up and brought out the CD. When she called me and was telling me, she was shivering. And I said, gather all these liars and deceivers. All these Jezebel spirits that are seen so-called revelations of heaven and hell. Gather them and burn them or you burn in hellfire. Many people are getting contaminated. Many people are getting polluted. And more are coming. And that is why this message is very important. More of them are coming. They are making money. Those backing them are making money. And in your foolishness, you are allowing them to damn your soul in hellfire. No matter what they... Let them preach holiness from now to Jericho. It has no meaning. It's the devil speaks lie in hypocrisy. It will look like truth, but it's not truth. Because the spirit behind it is not of truth. Now, the word of the Lord said, and in verse 25, And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he who searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. And all the churches. This spirit has corrupted most churches. 
This spirit of Jezebel is everywhere. Is working harder than the Christians. Is destroying souls. You know, subtly. It, it will not come to attack you, you know, in the way you expect. No. It pollutes your soul. Corrupts your salvation. Why you ask, you still think you are going to heaven? Why you still think you are holy? Maybe you have gotten rid of outside uh, things you feel are not of God, but then inside you are polluted and corrupted. Is it not time to escape? Is it not time to tell the devil, no, enough is enough? Is it not time you open your mouth and help other people to escape? You hardly go to any home now and you don't see these CDs. You hardly. This one said, don't take uh, vitamin C. This one says that uh, if you take watermelon, you, 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 you they, all manner of... And the moment you obey them, you have obeyed Satan. And once you have obeyed Satan, you are going to hellfire. This is one of the reasons why the, the, when the devil told Jesus to fall down and Jesus Christ... You know, Jesus can do that. But he didn't do it because that would mean obeying the devil. And once he has obeyed the devil, that's the end. Many of the things they are telling you is to bring you into obedience to the devil. And that disqualifies you. That removes your name from the book of life. It will not be good that after running this race, you run in vain. Ignorance is not an excuse. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I was, in, I was, I was one day in the revelation of heaven with Jesus Christ. And the glory of the place was too much. Everywhere, you see, when you see heaven in revelation, if you see heaven, you will never want to miss it. And one of the things that, I, that uh, the Apostle Paul told me is about the spirit of the seed that is working right now in the church. The devil will not come out as devil anymore. The devil will never come out again and say, I am Mr. Devil. I have come to destroy, to steal, to kill. No, he will come like the serpent that destroyed Adam and Eve. He will come as a friend. The cry of those who are in hellfire, which I hear as somebody that has visited there in divine revelation, will not allow me to stop speaking the truth. There is no sentiment about what I'm doing. When a watchman sees the sword coming, he must warn. Many of the pastors today have been taken over by the spirit of Jezebel. The spirit of Jezebel. And as you sit under their anointing, you are committing fornication and adultery with this very spirit. Look at what they preach. Look at the entertainment. Look at, look at the, the dressing of our, our girls. Look at the... You, you sit under a ministration, you do not have a rethink about where you will spend eternity. It's that spirit of God. And now the devil has ambushed the people of God in another style. He will not say what those who want to escape will like to hear, so that he will get them in, in, in his net. This is the time to escape. Any of these CDs, any of these materials you have, if you don't want to go to hellfire, burn them and destroy them. Go back to the word of God. Go back to the Bible. Go back to the assignment of the Spirit. Go back to the testing of the Spirit. Get filled with the Holy Ghost. Get filled. Only those led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Till I see you, I meet you again in this telecast with all these things that are happening. My prayer for you is that you will not be a victim. God bless you. This one is called Meet Jesus Life. Most of us don't know that they can meet Jesus Christ one on one. And I have had that experience and still having it all the time. And people who have been under my administrations have met Jesus Christ physically and spiritually. And he solved their problems, gave them things that nobody can give to them. And the book will help you to know Christ more as a living person that you can interact with. And then stop being fooled by false prophets. Ask anybody that has read this book. It is, it is doing wonders in people's lives. This one is 99% of ministers and churches on the way to hellfire. There was an SOS meeting and the Lord Jesus Christ came out to drive away many ministers. Big ministers that are being respected. 
and send them to condemnation because the, we are being held accountable for what is happening in the church. It's a book you will read, you must read. Now, this one is called The Battle of Sexual Immorality. You don't need anybody to tell you that there's a battle going on, even in the church. Even the pulpit has lost the battle. Our schools are high prostitutions, not high institutions. The churches, the choir, everywhere is polluted with sexual immorality. You will find out why. And they'll find out how to escape. There's a poison called Izana that is in the body of most people you see who are fornicators now. This book will open your eyes like you have never known before. This is pure prosperity. There's no child of God that is meant to be poor. But pure prosperity is not about material things only. This book will teach you on how to prosper spiritually, physically, and otherwise. It will teach you how you can get everything that the Lord has for you in the area of prosperity that is meant to be total, not just one-sided. It's a must read. This one is called Prepare for Rapture. If you are not preparing for rapture, then you are preparing for capture. It is a book that those who have read have repented and got born again, again and again. Because if you are not ready, you are not going to make it. This book with the revelations and everything inside it will bless you so much. This book is my latest, one of my latest books just out. The highest height of the seat. In this highest height of the seat, you will see how the devil and his cohorts have taken over everywhere in the seat. Even preaching holiness and righteousness. Even doing what? Bringing so called divine revelations and so called undesigning Christians. Christians who are too lazy to test the spirits are buying their CDs. And initiating themselves to hellfire. They do not know that when you watch these CDs. When you look at these things listening to them. That they grab your soul. Corruption and pollution of another level. Is what the devil is using now. To have his souls for hellfire.